Congrats, you've started multi-engine training and you might be a little bit nervous about engine failures. Well, let's go through one in this seminal so that you can see that if you follow your training, it's not that big of a deal. Now, starts out with every other takeoff that you've ever done. You apply brakes, you smoothly increase the power to full, verify that all of your instruments are in the green, release the brakes and track down the center line, putting your ailerons into the wind, using your rudder to keep the airplane pointed in the direction that you want to go. Now, we are at a flying speed, get the aircraft off the ground. I'm accelerating, no more usable runway. We'll go ahead and bring our gear up. Now, we're climbing on out, fat, dumb, and happy, like nothing is wrong. But wait. Oh no, I noticed an uncommanded yaw and roll and a severe loss of performance. Let me go ahead and sweep my controls forward to ensure that I don't have a problem there. Now, some schools will teach you verify the dead engine by manipulating the throttle. All right, I manipulated the dead engine and I saw no further uh, yaw or roll. Congratulations, we have identified the dead engine. Go ahead and bring our mixture back to idle, bring our propeller back to feather. And finally, after all of that, we will bring our engine back to idle. Now, since we're gonna cruise around like this, we'll go ahead and silence the gear horn. Now you can see, we are at our single engine climb speed, maintaining about 500 feet per minute, and we're fine. There's nothing wrong. So if you follow your training, an engine failure on takeoff is going to be a fairly docile event. 